What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because today we are going to be talking about how you can elevate your college application essay word choice. So if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Rachel. I graduated from UC Berkeley in the class of 2020, where I double majored in cognitive science and legal studies. And now currently I'm working full time at a law firm. This past admission cycle, I was an external undergraduate admissions reader with UC Berkeley. If you're a student applying to colleges this cycle, you should definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting. We are a team of UC Berkeley grads who specialize in reviewing college application essays as well as consulting one-on-one -on -one with students and parents. So you should definitely check out our website and social medias for more information, tips, and tricks. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So speaking of college application essays, I have a bunch of videos relating to this topic on my channel, which I'll have linked down below. The first word choice tactic that I want to talk about is redundancy. So when something is getting redundant in your college application essays, it could be using the same nouns, verbs, adjectives, or even using the same kinds of phrases over and over again throughout your essays. This can get redundant because you aren't purposefully repeating things to get a point across, but you may be unintentionally repeating the same nouns, adjectives, or words over and over. So one example of redundancy in your paragraphs is starting sentences in your paragraphs the same way. This might be something that happens unconsciously when you're drafting your essays, writing down your ideas, you might not notice that every single sentence starts similarly in your paragraph, but hopefully this is something that you can catch when rereading and editing your essays. So for an example paragraph, let's say you write, I am a part of the student government in my high school. I am the president where I plan meetings and activities. I love planning events because I enjoy giving back to my community. I aim to grow this passion at college through getting involved in community service and student government. So in this example paragraph, you can see how every single sentence starts off the same way. Every sentence starts off with I, a verb phrase. So it's like I am, I am, I love, I aim. Reading this sentence out loud, it sounds very choppy. Each sentence is this new idea, the paragraph doesn't really flow that well. And finally, with redundancy, you need to be careful if you're using a word that might have multiple meanings or multiple spellings because it could create typos if you use the incorrect version of the word. So for example, words like there, there, and there, two, two, and two, other words like allowed versus allowed or idle versus idle. These words all sound the same spoken aloud, but being read, they could have completely different meanings. So the next way to elevate your word choice in your college application essays would be to cut back on wordiness. So I see this all the time in college app essays where students are writing their ideas down way more wordy than they need. When you're editing your essays, this is something to look out for. For example, saying, I came to the realization that XYZ, you can just say, I realized that. Or instead of saying during the course of the year, the school year, the semester, you could just say during. You know, these college app essays usually don't allow for that many words, so cutting back on wordiness is a great way to meet that word count to allow space for you to expand on other ideas because you aren't unnecessarily talking in circles with your words. Specifically looking out for wordiness is also helpful because it helps to prevent run-on sentences. I've read college app essays where one sentence might span four or five 
five lines and personally I think that is way too long you might confuse the reader and you're putting too many ideas into one sentence you should probably split that into multiple sentences and cutting back on wordiness it helps to make your writing sleeker and easier to understand Another way to improve your college app essays would be through the word choice. So like I mentioned in the first point, you might be switching out words instead of using I planned, I plan, back to back, you might switch one of those out to a synonym. But when you switch words out like that and use synonyms or the thesaurus, you need to be careful. So because you are unfamiliar with these words, maybe you just use a thesaurus and find a synonym, you might actually actually be using that word incorrectly from how it is usually used. For example, finding a synonym in the thesaurus, the word you pick out might have a different connotation from the original word that you wanted to use. Some words might have a negative connotation. For example, the word strange has a negative connotation. You might be describing a trip you took and then you describe the food as strange. That comes across negative because the word strange usually comes with the feelings of weirdness, or othering something. Versus if you use the word with positive connotation like unique, you could say this food was unique because of XYZ. It comes across more positively to the reader and not like you are bashing or looking down upon this other kind of food. Similarly, some other examples where students stick a word into a sentence where it doesn't necessarily fit. With study hall, I've reviewed an essay where a student wrote that they interrogated professionals to conduct research. The use of the word interrogated here is not the best use because of that negative connotation. The word interrogation, interrogate, interrogated, makes people think that you might be holding those professionals hostage. The word interrogation is typically associated with people committing crimes and they're being interrogated by the police. In this context where the student is saying they are interrogating professionals to conduct research, it doesn't fit. Instead, you could use a word like interviewing professionals because that would fit better into the context of of this story. Obviously for using synonyms, if you mess up one place in your essay, it's not going to be a make it or break it for your admissions results. But if this kind of synonym mix up is happening throughout your essay, it could confuse the reader because they might not understand the point you're trying to get across. Similarly with word choice, you want to use simple, easy to understand phrases and grammar. You really don't want to sound authoritative, like, oh, I'm the smartest person ever in this subject. Let me teach you, admissions reader, everything I know about this topic because I'm the smartest person in the world about this topic. You don't want to come across super, super authoritative like that. Similarly with using plain English, you don't want to have too many complicated metaphors throughout your essays because from my time as an admissions reader, they tell you the average amount of time that you should be spending on each application. It is probably the case that admissions readers for these colleges don't have a lot of time to spend on your application, on your essays, trying to figure out what you really meant to say. So when you're using super complicated, convoluted writing styles or making all of your essays these grand metaphors that really take time to digest and they are hard to understand, this might leave the admissions reader feeling confused. So when you're writing, that's something to keep in mind, that these admissions readers need to be able to figure out what you're trying to say, digest it, and understand it in a short amount of time so you don't want to make your writing overly complicated. And finally, with word choice, you want to have strong word choice. You want to have strong word choice that adds to your essay and helps describe what you are doing and the message you are trying to get across. Similarly with strong word choice, it's not limited to just these action verbs, but strong word choice also applies to nouns and adjectives as well. So for example, a sample sentence of this book is good and tells me about history. You can change out not only the verbs, but also the adjectives 
adjectives and nouns to make this stronger. So to make it stronger, this novel describes the experiences of a soldier during the Revolutionary War. So you're switching out book for novel, novel is more descriptive, and you're changing out the word good. Instead, you're saying that it describes the experience of a soldier. You are explaining what this history is and saying during the Revolutionary War. So you can see with this example by looking at your sentences and looking at not only the verbs but all parts of the sentence, you can make it stronger in your writing. So yeah, those are some tips on how to elevate your word choice in your college application essays. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. If you had any other video ideas that you wanted to see me do, also leave a comment down below. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so much for watching and good luck drafting your college app essays.